My parents are from Taiwan. They immigrated to America long before I was born. Back in the 1970s. I'm the third child of four siblings. My brother, Carrie, he is six years older than me. So by the time he was born, my parents went through all of the typical uncertainties that come with raising a deaf child. That by the time I was born, six years later, they were already prepared and more aware about it. They were able to quickly identify the similarities between us when we weren't responding to the typical sounds. Also, they had the advantages of being able to identify earlier what type of education I needed and the type of support I needed. They also already know sign language. Yes, I was born into a signing family. I grew up going to mainstream school with a deaf and hard of hearing program in the Chicago area. There were a few major mainstream schools with deaf and hard of hearing programs there. And I mostly grew up within the school system where the Hersey High School is a part of, but I graduated from Hinsdale South. I went there during my last two years of high school. I started by attending the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign in central Illinois. I started there and then I transferred to RIT and TID. When I went to RIT and TID, it was my first time I was really exposed to a large number of deaf people who in many ways um, challenged my previous perspective of what deaf people were supposed to be like. I considered things like the fact that I am not white, the fact that I'm a woman, and I'm deaf as well. It's all different things that came into play when I was trying to discover my own identities. There's not that many of them out there. I mean, there were many more deaf people, but necessarily finding others that are like me, I haven't found them yet at that time. My mother was an immigrant. English was not her first language. She was a single parent raising four children, two of them who are deaf. So it was a very challenging time back then. And I think that it had a real impact on the way that my brother's sister and I have handled things in our lives. We are very similar in the fact that we're all very independent. We're able to just do things ourselves because someone has to do it. It has to be me. I work for CSD as their chief legal officer, CLO. I am responsible for their frontline legal defense or compliance. I make sure that the organization and employees follow the laws and do the right things by the contracts and regulations. CSD gave me the opportunity that I most likely would never have gotten out there. But because CSD understands deaf people, they understand the potential, the abilities, the value that deaf people offer. CSD is the first time ever that I am able to work with other deaf people as peers. Side by side, we work on projects together, trying to make the impact CSD is looking to create on deaf and hard of hearing communities. I like to travel. I like to spend time with my partner and my dog. I really enjoy quiet times. Life can get really hectic when you're responding to one situation after another. So it's nice to just be able to sit down and relax at home and not really think about it very much. CSD leadership team as a group of people who really care about their work and the impact they make on deaf and hard of hearing communities. Also, the fact that they really try to do the right thing. They care. I mean, they care, truly. 